Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Hey, this is Spencer Colgan, and welcome back to my wallpaper show, Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. We're talking about straight matches today. It's probably about half of what I hang when I'm hanging conventional wallpaper in a residence straight match. <clears throat> Measuring for straight match is something that we have to get down. It, a lot of people think because it's a straight match, uh, I'll get three sheets out of a roll. This is uh, homeowners. I, typical statement I get is, Spencer, can you hang my wallpaper? It's just one wall. I have two rolls or I have three rolls. It's a straight match. Well, let's explain what's actually involved with a straight match measurement and let's do it okay i've hung two sheets at the top you will see that that pattern right there is the same as that one right there and that's what it means to be a straight match see that because that piece of greenish brown is at the top, we know that the same exact one has to be at the top. Now, at first glance, they all look the same, but they're not. Let me show you. <clears throat> so in the wallpaper hanger's mind, he makes, he, he identifies this with, with, a, with a pattern. You see this little part here? It's detached from here, but this one is not detached, okay? So if this were at our top, hey, that's pretty easy. The turtle goes at the top. Let's just say. But that's not what we have. At the very top, we have, you see the end of it right there? It's distinct, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. How many down? We're going to make a count. Let's do it down here because it's easier. Let's count the turtle, right? So we have the turtle here. Let's see when the turtle repeats on us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Our turtle repeats. So every 11 of these is my repeat. Now, for now, it doesn't matter how many inches away that is when you're hanging it, you wanna get that turtle and put him at the top if he's at the top. But I chose a different thing because I started where the wallpaper began. So with that in mind, now let's measure the repeat. So our wallpaper says, It's a straight match, design repeat, straight match. So you're a homeowner and you don't know, oh yeah, there's no repeat. Oh, that's not what it says. It's a straight match, meaning that the turtle is here and it's here and it's here. What that means is very important for your measurement. Because if your turtle appears every 36 inches, which is three feet. Ooh, you're gonna have a lot of waste. So let's make sense of this all. Let's get the tape measure out. Let's measure our repeat. The turtle is the easiest thing I can give you, okay? So we'll go from the top turtle the bottom of the top turtle, by the way. You see that? We're doing the bottom to the bottom of the next one. And you will see that 
from one turtle to another is just about 27 inches. Okay, the European rolls come in centimeters, understandably so. So who cares, right? Who cares? What does that mean to my measurement? Okay, well, here's what it means. Let's measure your wall. Let me get the tape measure on the wall. So my wall is 97 inches. Okay? And that comes out to 246.3 centimeters. So my roll here, it doesn't tell me how many inches or centimeters is my repeat. Okay? Now here's where you make mistakes. Folks, please pay attention to this because if you're a do-it-yourselfer, this number does not mean square yards and it doesn't mean linear yards of coverage. Yes, this roll covers 11 linear yards if you don't cut it. But unless your ceilings are 100 feet high, you're going to cut this material. As soon as you cut it, you get into waste. As soon as you cut the piece of paper at the bottom, this is what you get. This is what you get. Every time I cut it, I'm losing this. Why? Why am I losing this? Because when I cut this piece off of this sheet, it was because I had something called repeat. So when I brought the second sheet up against the first sheet, and brought the top of this one to the top of this one, it didn't meet until I pushed it upward, looking for the match. And I didn't find it until the repeat matched. Let me show you what I mean. Let's take my third sheet. Okay. I have my third sheet here. This is the top. After cutting it from the bottom of the sheet you're looking at down below. In a perfect world, it matches right up. But it doesn't. Why not? Because there's something called repeat. Look across. That piece matches the second sheet piece, but not here. It doesn't match here. Why not? Because you thought that the guy who sold you the wallpaper knew what he was talking about. But he meant well, he's not an idiot. He doesn't understand that 56 square feet of wallpaper doesn't cover 56 square feet of wall necessarily. Because in order to get this sheet to match this one and this one to match this one, I have to find the repeat. And I can only do that if I go up and up and up until it matches. Now, where's our little turtle? Look at where the turtle is over here. It's down here. I gotta bring this up to here. So let's do it. Well, I moved it all the way up.
because now my turtle matches my turtle, right? But look at this. What is this? That's the waste caused by the repeat. This is garbage now, but put it to the side. We might be able to use it, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is going in the trash. So now, does your wallpaper roll truly cover 11 yards of wall? No, not unless your walls are long enough to eliminate the need for creating waste caused by repeat. I wish I could say that if you got a random match, you'd save money because you wouldn't create waste. But wallpaper is priced based on the quality of the material and the name brand. It really has nothing to do with this. So don't think if you get less of this, you'll pay less. No, no, no. So we now let's recap. We have a straight match, turtle. Turtle, turtle. And the price of matching up these turtles is something we call waste. Because if we didn't match them up and put this piece right here at the very top of the ceiling, we wouldn't have a match, but we'd save on waste. Now I'm just pointing out something ridiculous to make a point. Repeat patterns necessarily cause waste, and we have to be really careful when we're ordering our wallpaper that we take into account the issue of repeat. The only time you don't have to worry about this issue is when you have what's called a random match pattern. It's the only time. Very rarely are patterns random match. Usually, we have something that requires a repeat. So, the only thing left to discuss, well, there are two things left to discuss. Let's say that the turtle appeared here, and the next turtle appeared diagonally down and up. So you have a turtle, turtle here, turtle there, turtle there. Well, that's called a drop match because our turtle pattern drops. And so you proceed with the installation, pulling wallpaper off of two rolls. One called your A roll, where your turtle would be here. And your B roll from the drop match roll, where your turtle would be here. That would be called your B panel. And you simply alternate the, sheet, the rolls from which your sheets come after hanging a particular sheet. So you hang sheet A from A roll and then B from your B roll when you have a drop match. We don't have that here. We're pulling the wallpaper from the same roll because our turtle is here and it's there, straight across. So let's see what this does to the calculation when I go to determine how much wallpaper I need. Well, if my wallpaper is 11 yards, that means linear yards. So what's, how many feet are in a yard? Three feet, okay? So three feet, plus three feet, plus three feet is nine feet, which equals three yards, okay? So three linear yards per sheet. The question you want to find out is, well, how many Sheets can I get out of a roll that gives me 11 linear yards? And that will have to depend on what your repeat inch number is. Let me show you what I mean. 
So I just hung the third sheet. But how much did I lose to hang eight feet and one inch of wallpaper or 97 inches? What did I lose? Well, we have two and a half inches of wallpaper here. This excess is two and a half. And then we measure we got 11 and a half, 14 inches. We have 14 inches of waste created by, it's, what is it really created by? It's created by a wall that isn't long enough to accommodate the exact measurement of wallpaper that will cover it without having to waste wallpaper to get to the repeat. I'm being facetious. It's created by our wall only needing eight feet and one inch of material and then yielding this waste in order to get the next sheet to go all the way up there and match right there. That factor is called repeat repeat so you'll see that I'll have the same issue on every sheet that I hang this came off of the first sheet this came off of the second this came off of the third it's waste caused by the repeat number and your repeat number will be reduced by the manufacturer if you get maybe a five inch repeat or a 10 inch repeat, the issue is how long are your walls in relation to this repeat? And now I'm going to tell you how you calculate considering the size of your walls and the repeat number. As you can see from one roll, we've already gotten one, two, three sheets. My pattern is 21 and a half inches wide. Here's what's left. Not a lot left. And we hold on to these pieces because they go over doors, right? Or under windows or over cabinetry. But it certainly can't be used here unless you want to splice it somewhere here. Not the best thing to do all the time. You don't want to get into that habit because even though I do that on some papers, it's, it's not expedient because you can see the splice, on, especially on dark wallpaper. But for argument's sake, let's see how much wallpaper I have left. If I were to try to install this piece here, let me just show you. At the top of the paper, I have nine and a half inches of waste. My turtles are matched up. Let's find the turtle. Here, directly crosses my turtle again. After taking into account my repeat waste, well, I come all the way down the wall with the fourth sheet and we wind up short. Now, strictly speaking, if I made the mistake of saying my roll of wallpaper is 11 linear yards, I would have enough, right? Because I would make the mistake of not taking into account all of the waste caused by the repeat. And I would say, hi, Mr. Wallpaper Hanger, come on over, I got enough. And then you gently say, who measured? I did, I went by the instructions on the paper. Well, this is why the square footage and the square yardage and the linear yardage doesn't mean what you think it means. In fact, if you look on that label earlier in the video, it doesn't even say linear yards. It could mislead person to think 
that it means square yards, then you're in a worse situation. I hope I've demonstrated the issue on how the repeat is important. I only have one point to make here. So, when you're measuring for wallpaper, here's what you do. It says the wallpaper is 11 yards. How many feet long is that? That's 33 feet long. It's 33 feet long because every yard is three feet. And if we take three times 11, we come up with 33 feet, which is 11 yards, 11 linear yards. So <clears throat> my wall and your home, whatever your situation is, is eight feet and one inch. Eight and one, 16 and two, so on and so on. So if I have three sheets, I have 24 feet of wallpaper. I'm consuming 24 feet, right? So I have 11 yards of wallpaper. I picked up my wallpaper. It says one roll gives me 11 yards. Well, that's eight feet. That's 16 feet. That's 24 feet. Say, hmm, it has 24, uh, it has 33 feet. I'm coming close to 33 with 24. Let me see what the repeat is. I know the roll will cover 24 if the repeat is not too big. Well, the label doesn't tell you the repeat. And so you have to call the company and ask. Well, we already know the distance between here to the top to the top of this turtle is. I took my tape measure out because we did this earlier in the video. I want to make sure. My repeat here from the top of the turtle to the top of the turtle is 27 inches. Okay? 27 inches, that's two feet and three inches. So let's figure that eight feet and one inch plus my repeat, which is 27 inches. Theoretically, every sheet is going to cost me this plus this. You see how that works? My wall is eight feet tall and one inch. So when I'm calculating how many sheets am I going to get out of a roll, I say each sheet is going to cost me X amount of feet or yards. Eight feet here, cut it here, add this, add this one, Cut it there, add more of this, do your next one, add this amount, cut it there, and add that. And you'll realize that each roll will give you only, full sheet speaking, by the way, 8, 16, and 24. Because we have 27 inches of waist. Now, depending on how tall your wall is, you don't always have the full amount of 27. These are not 27 inch pieces. But you wind up calculating the worst case scenario. Let's say your walls were a little longer and you do consume more waste, it, it can fluctuate. So what you want to do when you measure is worst case scenario. After I cut a sheet, I'm wasting 27 inches until I can get the repeat. 
So this sheet is eight feet and one inch plus 27. This sheet is eight feet and one inch plus 27 inches. And this sheet is eight feet and one inch plus 27 inches of waste. Therefore, you calculate 97 inches plus 27 inches, 97 inches plus 27 inches of waste, 97 inches plus 27 inches of waste. And then you'll start to see what amount of material each roll will truly give you. When you add up the numbers, you get 312 linear inches of wallpaper to give you three full sheets of wallpaper from one roll. You wind up with 372 linear inches. After you hang three sheets and you include the waste. Let me recap. It's 97 inches here, plus 27. It's 97 inches here, plus 27. And it's 97 inches here, plus 27 inches of waste. That leaves us with a little more waste here and only enough to cover approximately 30 inches from the bottom. In conclusion, what I would like to say is, find out how many inches long your wallpaper is. It can get confusing for folks who don't use yards, right? You don't wanna go by how many yards it is. We got 11 yards here. We saw it before, right? 20 and a half wide by 11 yards. Well, they really mean by 33 feet. And if you think about it, they're really saying that it's 396 inches long. So if you think about it like that, well, I have 396 inches long of wallpaper. Then it gets simpler. You say, well, how many inches will each sheet consume? So you take the live space, add your repeat. Add more live space, add your repeat. Add more live space, add your 27 inches or whatever your repeat is. And then you'll start chipping away at the 396 linear inches. And then you'll say, boy, I have 396 linear inches of wallpaper. But in reality, it's only giving me, it's only giving me less than 300 inches of live wallpaper space, 285 inches altogether, plus this. We'll find something to do with this piece. I'm gonna take it off. If it were in a different area, I would splice it in here. Pretty easy to do. But do you understand now? Each sheet comes with a liability. It's called waste. It's the number of inches of your repeat. Determine the length of your wall and add the waste. And you'll come up with the exact amount of wallpaper that you need. So you'll take into account how much you're going to throw out and how much is going to remain on your wall. I hope I've explained this clearly. It's not that difficult. I'm sorry if I went on too long. I think what I said at least twice was necessary in order to get this point across. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. By the way, the standards of hanging wallpaper I will tell you, for those of you who hire wallpaper hangers, this, your wallpaper hanger is not going to incorporate this piece in your 
required amount. He's going to disregard this piece. He's going to use this over here or perhaps for the garbage because you can't expect him or her to splice this depending on your pattern. A splice may not fit your particular paper. So the wallpaper hanger is going to take your wallpaper measurements and say you're going to get three full sheets for your roll on this particular job. He'll use this over a window, below a window, over a doorway. But he's not required to, to um, be frugal and then mess up his, his job and splice that where you might be able to see it. So this to the wallpaper hanger is waste or to be used elsewhere. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. But when you subscribe, hit the all button because the all button will get you all the subsequent videos.